Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we're going to discuss best fit points to points alignment. First, inside the software, I'm going to navigate to the file. I'm going to select import, and I'm going to import the new hex block SOLIDWORKS part. Confirm it's the correct part. And now I'm going to navigate to the features tab, select extract from CAD, and now I'm going to select a plane first, and then my 2D features next. Click on another circle right here. I'm going to click my side plane. You can just select both faces, and then the circle. Then on the front plane, I'm going to select the plane, and I'm going to select one of the circles. Press Enter to accept, and Enter to complete. Now I can just left click and drag the plane one into the main graphical view and this becomes my active measurement target. Now we can start to see I'm measuring the plane. Once I'm complete, I can just swipe right, and it automatically will move on to the next feature. Because I still have my plane 1 selected inside of the tree, it shows the highlighted portion of that inside of the software. Once I deselect it, we can now see the CAD model is de-emphasized, and I can physically start adding points now on my plane two. As I go through and measure this part, the fit statistics will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. So I'm just gonna finish measuring the circle. I can swipe right. And then now I'm measuring my plane three, which is that front-facing plane. Swipe right to accept. And then now I'm gonna move on to the circle four. I'm going to place the arm back in the home position. And now I can look at the location of my part in relation to the arm. Next, I'm going to click alignment and select best fit points to points. And then the software will go through and highlight only the areas where I can select points. So I'm going to go through and select my nominals, select enter, and then now it prompts me to select my actual values next. Press enter when I'm complete. And then the software will now go through and physically align to the CAD model. I can look inside the properties to see additional information, but first let's open a watch window, physically select our CAD model, press enter, and then ensure that the alignment is correct. Inside of this watch window, I now have the ability to physically move my instrument and touch the CAD model. And we can see I start to see some of the deviation appear in the main graphical view. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were inspired.